Hi, my name is Uriel Morais from Excel Guru, and this is the user guide to our inventory management spreadsheet. Basically, when you open the spreadsheet, it takes you to this form. Now, with this form, you can see the inventory level of all of your products. You can see the sales that you have made. You can see the purchase that you have made, and uh, you can also see your profit level. So, you want to select the date range. All you do, you click on the calendar image before the start date and you can navigate through the months and select the month and also the year of your choice that is the start date basically this area is there to bring the type of report that you want within a date range now we also have the inventory in stock with this area you can see live inventory of all of your products you can see the balance in stock of all of your products individually. You can see the purchase that you have made. You can see the sales that you have made and you can also see the profit level. So you have a dashboard that is really, really effective and efficient. Now you can also do a transaction. Let us do one transaction, DSTV. Now we see the inventory level for DSTV is zero. So we want to do a purchase. We want to enter the quantity. You can enter the quantity. This is a trial. You can enter any amount. And the type of transaction, it is a purchase transaction. When it is a sales transaction, you select sales. But in this case, it is a purchase transaction. Then you click on add. Now, once you click on add, the DSTV inventory level has increased. Let us see. You see the DSTV level is no more zero. It has increased. Then we have the show transactions. So all of the transactions that you do appears to the show transaction. Now you see the inventory level for DSTV has increased. So let us do one for washing machine. Let us select the product. We select um, washing machine. We want to take the quantity. Let us do 15 and uh, the type of transaction is purchase. Then we click on add. Once you click on add, you see automatically it becomes a, pro or, or, a purchase and the inventory level for washing machine has increased. Now, this is how you add inventory to your product. Now, let us do one transaction. Let us do one on washing machine again. Let us select the quantity of 10. This time around, we take sales. Let us select sales. So we, the washing machine we bought, we sold some. So let us click on add and see what the profit level will be. Wow, you see we did our sales for 600 and the profit margin or the income margin is 200. So with this, you have, you have a live update of all of your inventories, all of the sales that you have made, all of the purchase that you have done and the profit that you have and the inventory level the total quantity so once you click on sales you see the sales now you can save you click on save then you also want to add product we click on this add new product to add new inventory now with this you can double click on a product and update that product and you can also add a new product so let us add a new product we take africa dennis africa dennis we select the purchase price and we also select the sales price and we click on add once you click on add we have added a new product now you see africa dennis now becomes a new product now let us click on the report. Once you click on report, you see the report is extracted that you can print, that you can save, and that you can do anything of your choice with the report. So basically, let us look in the live inventory available in stock and see. You can also click on the report and generate the report for availability in stock. Then you can also click on refresh you can click on the refresh to refresh the data but it's done automatically and show transaction you can click on all transactions that will include the purchase and the sales 
now you see we have done a purchase of 4900 we have made a sales of 600 a profit margin of 200 you can also click on the transaction report and you will see the individual transactions report will, will be generated and you can also send this to your colleague you can also print that out as per your requirement or what you need now if you have a new transaction you can enter new transaction there and each time you do a transaction don't forget to save and you can also search for a product in the live inventory you can also search for a particular product and click enter you see the particular product will appear now you see this also serve as a dashboard and it serve as inventory tracking it also serve as an area where you can do your transaction so this spreadsheet this inventory management system is very very effective you can use this in your small business you can see